Hello. Hey, how you doing, Ronnie? What's up, Mel? How you doing? Hey, good. Thank you for reaching out. Oh, yeah, for sure. Give me one second. I'm sure. going downstairs so I can talk privately. Okay. All right. Let me fix this here. Okay, cool. Got it. All right, can you hear me? Yes. Okay, so I had two cousins. They, they go to Sierra College, and that's in Roseville. Basically, like Rockland, Roseville area. And they were going up to that party. They heard about it. And they had a, a, some other friends going with them, but they're around like 27, 28 years old. They're older. And so there, there was a lot of older dudes there. And so I asked them if they knew her, and they said they saw her there. And uh, she was just like, you know, laughing, going from group to group talking. And they, you know, they didn't make nothing of it. But she was talking to, I guess, a bunch of people. Like she was just walking around talking to everybody. And they said at the party, a lot of people were doing shrooms, cocaine, mm. drinking, and all that. And I was like, yeah, but that's kind of normal, though. Because, right. you know, a lot of, uh, honestly, in Cali, in my area I'm at, everyone does cocaine. Like, <laughs> all the younger kids at school, under 18, where, like, they all just buy cocaine from some old dude who lives in some apartment complex. And they buy coke, and they do it with their friends. And, Mm. You know, that, but that's kind of normal around here. So right. I wasn't really surprised about that. And so I asked them, I said, did you guys see anything weird going on? I was like, was anyone like looking at her face? Like, nah, everyone was just chill, but everyone was kind of messed up. And so was she. And then I asked, I was like, well, how drunk was she? And they're like, well, she was like stumbling around. Like, you know, she wasn't walking around like, oh yeah, I'm tipsy. I'm cool. She was pretty drunk. Like, yeah. So stumbling around. Drove, yeah, she was, if she would have been driving around, she would have been swerving easily, like easily swerving. So there was no way she could have drove. And um, that was basically that was basically all I knew from that. And then they told me that there was some other stuff, but they can't really talk about it. But that's basically all that they knew is that, like, she was really drunk, and there was tons of drugs there, like not just drinking. People weren't just drinking. They were doing blow openly. Like, everyone was doing blow together, like going over to a group of people. You sit down, break a line, and it was like that. And it wasn't just a teen party. There was a lot of adults there. Uh -huh. It wasn't some, no. There because was they were saying it was like there. a high school thing, you know, so. But I yeah, there was a lot of high school kids there, but there was uh, a lot of, tw like, mid-20s, like, dudes who were still in college because they went to college later, you know, like, mm. you know, probably been out of school for a minute, went back to, and then they heard about this party. But, yeah, there, there was, it wasn't just teens. There was a, a dudes way older there. <laughs> Wow. That's why I was kind of crazy that they were just saying it's a teen party. Okay, well, you had a bunch of dudes there that were way older than 16 years old. There's 26, 28, 29-year-olds there. Did they see her leave, or, or no, they just, they just saw her? No, the they, no my buddies, uh, they kick it, we all kick it with the same group, because I hang, I hang out with my cousins all the time. They're good dudes. Mm -hmm. But um, they went there to do the, like, <laughs> I can't really say their names, obviously, but they went there to have a good time and do right. what was there, and that's what they do. But they... They didn't kick her with her like that, but they they, they saw her, and um, they left, um, I think, around, like, 10, 30, 11, so she stayed later than them, but they didn't say, like, they they didn't, uh, they did tell uh, me that they didn't see her wearing a sweatshirt at that time. They didn't see did her they wearing see, a sweatshirt. Was, did they see her in a tank top, like the black Yeah, spaghetti. she was wearing the bodysuit, yeah, she, mm. was wearing, she was wearing the same outfit, but they didn't see her wearing no sweatshirt. Mm. So that, okay. that's basically all I know, though. And do you know if they, like, did they see anybody, like, creepy out there? Do people hook up out there, like, right there in the woods, too? Like, like do they? Oh, look, like, I can't say the people. It's hard to explain. Like, there's, uh, um, there, okay, so when kids go out there, because I've been, I've been out there. I've partied in Tahoe. I don't party as much anymore because I've got three kids now. But I know when they go out there, a lot of kids go out there. They don't go out there with the drugs. They don't go out there with the shrooms. Like, they usually bring the alcohol. They get alcohol. The dudes who come out there, the older guys, they have the shrooms and the cocaine. And then the kids go hang out with that group, the mm. older dudes, because they're giving them the, the blow and hooking them up with stuff that they can't afford because they don't really got the money for it. Because cocaine's pretty expensive. Right. And so you would go hang out with that those group, do blow, blow, then there'd be another group who has cocaine. And most of the guys, they always want to give it to the girls. And it's being offered for free because they want the company and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's for free. They're yeah, giving yeah. free lines, but then yeah. they want you to kick it with them. You know, right, like, right. oh, hey, come come do a line with me. Come do a line with me. You know, and that's how it goes. Those are how those parties are. 
Right. So there's no telling what could happen, but I do know she, I do know for a fact she was messed up. That is a fact. So yeah. if they try to word it nicely, like, oh yeah, she was a little, no, no, she was she was shit faced. <laughs> and I wonder, I wonder, uh, you know, was it just alcohol? Was it possibly substances? You know, tripping or like whatever. Oh, it's it uh, definitely a mixture. I'm, I can't say for sure she participated, but that's what was there <laughs> for a fact. That's what it was for. That's why everyone went. And there's and you're probably having different groups of people bringing their type of cocaine. So then they're all sharing amongst each other, you know? Mm. Right. Yeah, but that's how that party was. Yeah, man. All right, well, thanks. Uh, let me see the chat real quick if there are any other questions. Uh, so your cousins, okay. they left around 1030. Or something like that. Yeah, they left. Uh, she was still there, but they didn't. I asked them if they saw her before they left, and they didn't. Oh, okay, okay. Damn, yo. And uh, did they see? I don't know if they if you asked them like if they saw any creepy people out there. Or oh yeah, vibes. no, no. The, it's okay. Like to me, if I went out there now, like let's say if I went out there and I saw some older dudes and I knew a girl was sixteen, seventeen. And he's like, "Come do a line with me." I would think that's fucking creepy alone itself. Like, dude, why do you want to do a line with her? She's like 10 years younger than you. She's a minor. But when you basically decide to go out to that party, it's like all bets are off. Like everyone's okay with it. Mm. You know what I mean? So nobody would look at it as creepy. But on the outside right. looking in, you would think it's creepy. Right, so, right. And some would say, what does it blow mean? Blow is cocaine. So coke. So. Okay. They're saying, somebody said if she got there at 10. Well, over here, this one note, they said around 10. This here one note says 945 to 10. I don't know. Uh, but somebody yeah. said, "How could she have been wasted already?" I mean, I don't know. A lot of people pregame sometimes too. We don't, and we don't know what no, she did she, before she got there either. Yeah, she she was she was drinking pretty much the whole time. <laughs> like that's when mm -hmm. I know when they saw her. They saw her early in the day. I I have to, I can ask them a specific time. I can call back when they when they saw her like that. They but saw. I do know you said they, they saw her saw earlier her in the day. Yeah, and she was drunk. What do you mean earlier in the day? Like before they left, like they, cause they left around like 10, 30 or 11. So okay. before that, like I would guess like around eight or nine, they, she was, she was already drunk. Cause supposedly she had gotten there around nine. I don't, yeah. Yeah. Nine, like nine, nine thirty, yeah. something like that. 10 o'clock. Yeah. Okay. And have the cousins so spoke to her? She was already, she was drunk. Oh, okay. Damn. That's crazy, man. Yeah, but they but I asked them I was like, did you guys know her? Like, were you guys friends with her? But right. they like they had no type of connection with her whatsoever, like mm -hmm. nothing. But yeah, that's but, but for sure those other drugs were definitely there. So hundred percent fine. Those drugs were there. So yeah. I don't know if she participated, but that it'd be unfortunate if she did because uh, you with cocaine you can't tell what it's laced with because a lot of the coke out here is not it's not pure cocaine. It's right. laced. It's laced with something, so it's just, right, right. you're not getting pure coke. You're you, and then if you're combining that with maybe doing some shrooms or drinking, smoking weed, right. taking dabs, whatever. Oh, dabs! You're, you're, oh you're my getting god! Jacked up. Yeah, you're gonna tell you're me about dabs. Up. Yeah, dabs. Ooh, if I oh, tried yeah, that one dabs, time, dabs is Jesus Christ! Oh yeah. Yeah, no, <laughs> I, I can't even tell that story. <laughs> oh yeah, and, oh, another thing too. Oh, mm. when people um come up here because I I stay in close to the area. I'm really close to it. Mm. There's a dispensary off the right off the freeway where I live, and when people go up there, they stop at the dispensary, and they buy hell of stuff there, and then they go up there and they use it. So you have a lot of stuff you can stop by on the way there, and you just get dropped up in the woods. Wow. So. And, it, and one more thing too, like, because there, there was a video clip that we saw, and there was a I guess the friend had said that like, you know, there were some guys there that like I guess like. Or kind of forcibly making her smoke uh a bong or whatever or take bong rips about oh. five guys i mean is that like i mean i don't know are, are guys like pursuing the girls there or like are, are any weird or are they just hey there's all these drugs and the girls are just kind of yeah. willingly kind of hey this party have fun like well, uh, there's like predator well, types it, out there what it, is, it, what it is is basically like if you got a bunch of older dudes there um, a lot of these older dudes who are doing the drugs or that got, got connections for it. So then I think they do kind of, they don't necessarily force it on them, but they're like, Hey, do you want to do some Coke? And they're like, yeah, let me tell my friends. And then she go get two more of her friends. And then he's like, Oh, I got the, I got the attention of these girls. And then he's just having a good time. 
getting them to do more coke, giving them free coke and all that. But he's looking at it like, oh, I'm getting the attention from these females, right, right. no matter how old they are. So they take advantage of that, especially when they have stuff they want to have a party because it's a party. They're all going to want to do it. Mm-hmm. So when they have something everyone else wants, they're like, oh, well, come hang out with me. I'll give it to you. So, yeah, it is kind of like it's dirty. It's, it's, it's a dirty thing. And, uh, and that's what was really sad is that a lot of the dudes there were older. They weren't young like that. So And, and let me ask you this. I don't know if you know. Do you yeah. know how the – like how did the event – like, did, did somebody host the event and how did word spread out? Because I heard like it was like Snapchat oh. or like. Oh, some yeah. Stuff. Um, yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I asked my cousins how they heard about it and they said it, it started going around Sierra College like oh, maybe a month, a month or two before it happened, before the party went down. And they just they heard about it from other people on campus and they're saying, hey, you're going to go. And then they got the address and they, they just planned to go. It, it just spread word everywhere. Like they were hearing about it. I didn't know about the whole possible uh, people coming from San Francisco. I don't know about that. But yeah. I do know it hit all the way in uh, Sierra College, which is about maybe an hour and a half from Tahoe. And hit how? So, like social media? Oh, like, oh, no, they found out at the school. Like, they didn't even have to get on social media. They had people talking about it at the school before they even found out about it through social media. Like, people were talking wow. about it on campus. Wow. Hmm. That's how they found out about it. Wow. Okay. And no, I was not there. <laughs> <laughs> no, my wife would kill me. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And um, let me see. I think that's it. Unless there's anything else, uh, do you know there's if they they reported it to the, to the you know that they saw yeah, her? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They they've already spoken with the police and told them everything they know, but there wasn't okay. there wasn't much that they could have said that was. Right. different than many other people there because a lot of the people there just said yeah i saw her around because she was like they told me they said when they did see her she was walking back and forth like she was talking to this person talking to that person talking like so they just kind of figure oh she has a lot of friends mm-hmm. you know but if if she didn't know those people well she sure acted like it or she was friendly you know uh olivia has a question she was asking okay because they're conflicting numbers of how many attendees were there how many people do oh. you think were there? Oh, my my cousin said there was at least over three hundred people there. Okay, like three. Yeah, it was it was it was packed. That's why it's that's why it's like uh, and there was a bunch of kids there. Like there was a bunch of kids from school there, but like it was mixed with older adults who had the drugs. Because and my cousins, I'm just gonna say, were one of the older group that had the stuff and my cousins are 25 and 26 years old wow so they came there with it other people did too so then you start swapping you're hanging out with other people and they're like oh you got this yeah you want some come over here there you go right there's a lot of people there so it's kind of hard to to keep track of one person like everyone's kind of mingling amongst each other so you can get lost in the crowd and I don't know if anyone was really paying attention to her like that, but it's sad that it happened. I don't. That's crazy. It's it, but it is crazy how there was that many people there and no one saw a thing. Yeah. Saw her leave. Nobody's really or not that. I just don't believe that. I I know so, somebody had to see her leave. Mm. Because me, and my because my cousins were telling me they think that, uh, but based off how drunk they saw her, yeah, that they think that she couldn't have drove, so she either she passed out in her car, like went to sleep in the car, maybe someone got in her car. Or she asked for a ride, someone to drive her car for her. Mm. Like, there was no way she could have drove. Like, Damn. that would have been asking for an accident. That's how drunk she was. Like, there's no way she could have gotten a car and like, okay, I'm only 10 minutes away. And like, no, there was no way. She was pretty drunk. Damn, man. And that's what the friend was saying, too. That, like, kind of like there's no way she could have driven by herself, like, the vehicle. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Mm. So, yeah, that's basically all I got, though. All right. <laughs> Thank you, man. I appreciate the call and the information. Yeah, I appreciate it, man. I'm going to keep tuning in. I appreciate you. Uh, love your show. Uh, appreciate the coverage as well, and hopefully something good can come out of this. Thank you. Appreciate it, man. Yeah. Take care. All right. Um, in near Corpus Christi, Texas. Texas. Hey, how you doing? Well, not bad. Hey, uh... I don't believe a word that last guy said. He was mm. there. 
Oh, you think he was at the party? Oh, yeah, 100%. When he said, let me go downstairs so I can get some privacy. Oh. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. <laughs> he was there. Oh, shit. Hello? Oh, hello. Hey, how you doing, man? It's Ronnie. What's up, man? Bro, what happened, man? People trying to say you were there, you were at the party and oh, stuff. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was just laughing because I was like, you know what? That's what's funny because, like, I'm from this area. And I was like, it's, most, it's always the ones who don't live in this area who are trying to act like, oh, I can't believe that stuff's happening. Like, uh, right. it's really common out here. Like, <laughs> there's parties every weekend with that stuff going on. Like, you'd be surprised how much it's considered normal out here for people to be doing that kind of stuff. Right. Hey, what I, what I was going to ask you too, um, mm -hmm. were there tents there at this place? I don't know if your cousin told you, like, do, the, do people were sleeping there and stuff like that? Or I, I did not ask about tents. Okay. I did not, and my cousins didn't stay there. They okay. didn't stay. So. And, and why do you think, if you just if you had a guess or your thoughts, why people aren't really talking? Oh, that's easy. <laughs> What's that? Um, because for one, there's older dudes there. Mm. <laughs> so, um, a lot of them don't want to get in trouble. And a lot of these dudes um, were in possession of stuff they would get in trouble for, for giving it to people, for giving Ooh. it to people. Which, like, if you're 24, 25 years old, and you're hanging around a 16-year-old, even if you don't know she's 16, I'm just using her as an example because she was 16, but remember, like, her friend was 18. So it's not, it's not going to be, uh, you know, there's some people that are just older. But if you have, like, a 25, 26-year-old, and you happen to give a 16, 17 year old that type of stuff, you're, you're going to be in trouble. <laughs> right. So I think that's stopping a lot of people from coming in because they don't want to get hemmed up on drug charges or anything like that for supplying uh, drugs and stuff to minors. So right. that makes that's, sense. Why I, I, that's, that's why I really think it is. I think um, for, uh, for some of the dudes who were there who had, because a lot of people went there in groups, like, uh, a lot of people went there with like 10, 11, 12 people. You, and my cousins, um, based off what my cousins do, because my cousins, they always hang out together. They went there, they went there in like a freaking, a RAV4, like a, a new RAV4 they mm. down there. They had like four of the people with them. And so it was like six of them. And when they got there, they had their own stuff. They were doing their stuff together, but people start sharing them with each other. But once you're in that little tight group circle, you're just like, hey, bro, we didn't give none of this to nobody else, mm. you know? Like, it was just us. You know, that's, that's what I think a lot of people are keeping hush because a lot of them might have just been drinking and they're comfortable coming out saying, yeah, we were drinking because maybe they didn't do nothing else. But a lot of them will not come out because they were either supplying the drugs or they gave drugs to someone they weren't supposed to. So, okay. that, but that, and Makes but, sense. But, what I'm saying is, but even, even then, I agree that it's messed up. I think it's wrong. But nobody out there is going out there ID checking people. You're not having dudes right. going out there saying, Howard, are you before I give you this cover? Right, like, right. Like, no one's right. doing that. <laughs> right. No, everyone's just high and having fun and all that. But when the cops get involved or something like this, then everything changes. And I do think they should come out and say something, but I can't can't make people do that. There's over 300 people there. Like, there's some dudes you're never going to find out were there. You know? So. Okay. That's basically it. Thanks, man. I appreciate you calling back. And thank you for just sharing that information with us, man. Oh, yeah. Tell your child to lay off me. <laughs> yeah, the child's like this. Savage, man. They're rough. Right, it's very rough. <laughs> Hello, man. <laughs> no, you're right, good, man. Appreciate it. Thank you. All right. All right. All right.